This lab ten, as we just discussed, is a continuation of lab nine. You are supposed to complete uh, the left two tasks, task six and uh, task seven. Open the official menu, lab menu described on seed website here. We downloaded the lab setup uh, in lab nine. So you may follow lab 9 to set up everything. If you have any uh, problems with your containers and uh, doc images, please follow this uh, docker menu. Task 6 and task 7. These are the tasks uh, we are going to do today. In task 6, we need to complete the two methods of writing self propagating cross site scripting worm, link method and DOM method. For the password of that database, uh, as we've discussed last Wednesday, its password is DES. So you can uh, remove those for friends of themselves, but it does not matter, it's okay, you leave it there. Here is I show you how to solve that problem. And the password for the admin in the ELK website is a seed admin, so you use this one to log in as an admin. Now let's go to the folder we set up in lab 9. Uh, yeah, lab 9. There is a continuation of lab 9, so let's just leave the name as lab, lab 09, but uh, please make sure it's lab 10 now. During the lecture, I created two templates for writing a self-propagating cross-site scripting form because you are not suggested to uh, copy and paste uh, copy from the PDF file and paste in a text file because that may contain some uh, weird invisible characters so prevent you from running the script so I type these things just from this PDF document manually into a to text file so we can bring up those two text files, the JavaScript code. In our lecture, module 2 code, here it is, the one, self-propagation, down propagation so we copy these three. JavaScript files, going to see, and paste here. The first method, the link method, uh, here is the link method. This is the xss1.js. In seed 1.0, we run this uh, lab on the local machine. So that's why you see a local host. But now we, we want to host inside a container. Before that, you need to uh, change several places. First place where you host this uh, script. Here, second, you need to change the corresponding places, source, where you host it. Then you change the victim's profile in the ELG website. So that means my hero and so on. And this place, the name. So I think everything else you don't need to modify. Attack GID. 
my Sammy is uh, 59, so you need to find yours. So first of all, we will modify these uh, places. Before our modification, let's uh, bring up those containers. Open the terminal and this lab setup. DC up. Docker PS. This is for the database. This one is for the search website and all other websites we need today. We know we set up those uh, domain and IP address in lab 9. So we may open it here for references. Okay, good way that opening in our text editor. Open the from uh, other location. Computer. EDC hosts. Okay, here are the settings we did in Lab 09. We may host uh, our JavaScript in any of these domains. They are all hosted in this container. Zero point file. Now let's uh, modify uh, open your tab. Let's modify our xs1.js. So suppose we want to host here, let's say. Which place do you want to host? Let's host in this uh, server seed-server.com. Oh, this is the social website. Yeah. Open the social website to have a look. So this is an Elk social website. So it's better to use another website. For example, this uh, example60.com. Okay, in 6.com, we have something like this. It does not matter, we don't uh, care, about it, care about it. How do we know where are these uh, websites hosted? They are hosted in the container now. Where are their index web page or the root folder of this uh, website. All the settings are inside the lab setup image www. Here you can see the the patch csp.com, the patch elgar.com. Right? Open this uh, csp.conf. Here you see those uh, server name. Example say to a example say to b. Their document root are all under this uh, folder, and all use the same home page. Uh, can see the all under the same folder. Wow, CSP. And we will see it soon in Task uh, 7.
don't care about these contents right now. It's just uh, the the index web page. So we will use this example 60.com. It's up to you to use any of these uh, website. I will use this one. Then uh, copy it. Now modify our uh, xssworm.js here where we uh, we will host it we are hosted on uh, example60.com alert I'm triggered it's just an indicator it's up to you to keep it or remove it now the source here I also need to change this place. So done. The contents of the description field and access level. We don't need to modify anything of this stuff. They are accessed from those uh, JavaScript variables with this uh, name, GID stamp and token that are the user, the victim. Now for this uh, this one we need the server dash seed dash server dot com the Elk server. I just copy it replace this one. Pay attention to the HTTP column. Now the attack GID, you need to change it to yours. Mine is 59. Okay, I think uh, that's all we need to uh, modify. Can you just save it? Now, how do we copy this one to the to the folder of this example60.com we use docker copy right? in our lab set up a folder this uh, x <coughs> ss1.js we use docker copy before that maybe we can use a shell login to this uh, Nine, please pay attention. Use your Docker ID. Here, mine is nine. I just type nine because it's different from six. So one character is enough to distinguish from distinguish this container from this uh, my SQL container. That is a CSP. I want to copy into this folder. We can cd to that folder. Now copy this part. Docker copy xss on the js remove that uh, pound key that's p I uh, copy over there you may have a check inside the container now you see that uh, x xs on the js is there you can access it from here. You see the code. Okay, now as Sammy login as Sammy in the Elk website.
and his uh, profile, edit profile, edit uh, HTML. I see nothing here. Now we need to uh, put a script here. Put this link, this line below in the text profile. This line. Make sure you are in HTML mode. Gonna be pass here. Gonna save it. I say I'm triggered. The JavaScript worked, but it will not attack Sammy himself. So we log out and then log in as uh, Alice. So first check our uh, profile. HTML is empty, so after your lab nine, you need to clean the infections we did in lab zero nine. Okay, nothing here. Now let's see if Alice accessed Sammy's profile, she will be attacked. So we only need to save this empty uh, profile. Nothing here. Now, if uh, Alice accessed Sammy's profile, and you see it says I'm triggered. This is just an indicator. In the real world, you remove this indicator. Right? You don't want to let the victim know you are attacking him or her. Okay, Alice is attacked, so we can check Alice's profile. I'm triggered, so that uh, JavaScript is copied into Alice's profile, and uh, her profile is a type that means my hero. So you can see those code as we uh, did in the lecture. At the profile, you will see the worm is injected into her profile. Right? We can see it at the uh, HTML. You see this. Uh, script link the link method now for somebody else for example uh, Charlie if Charlie watched Sam, uh, Alice's profile Charlie will be attacked as well so this uh, worm is propagating itself so we log out Alice and log in Charlie I'll check his uh, profile. His profile. Everything is clean. Eh? And now, suppose Charlie accessed Alice's profile in this uh, members access uh, Alice's uh, profile. I'm triggered. So the the worm is infected and injected into a Charlie's profile. Charlie can check him, check his profile. Right, I'm triggered. And Sam is my hero. So did the first method with the link method to create a self-propagation worm. This is a link approach. Now the second approach is a DOM approach. I can create a template for you. Before we start this uh, down approach, we need to clean all this stuff. So clean from the last victim. It does not matter. Clean from Sammy until all the 
victims. Gonna add lit and save it. The first victim is uh, Alice. Profile. Add profile. Just pay attention. HTML mode. Now the attacker, Sammy. Modify her attacker approach. You don't log out and log in as Sammy. Profile, now this time, Sammy will use another method. Delete this link method. We may uh, save it later after we copy that uh, DOM method. Okay, for the DOM method, we want to copy it into uh, this CSP folder, right? the lab setup image www. This CSP. Oops, I didn't copy here. I copied it here in this lab, lab setup. So this are uh, DOM propagation. Open with text editor. Again, check this. Uh, check the level manual where you need to modify. Line one, two, three, four. What they are read it by yourself as we explained during the lecture. Right now we let's modify this code. The first part is used for injection. This one is used to modify the victim's profile. This one is used to get the victim's session information. Now again we need to uh, modify this uh, website name. So now we can copy from that xss worm.js The server name is this one Tom propagating.js Again, my Sammy is 49. You need to find yours to make it more readable. The attacker GOID equals 59. This is my Sammy, the GOID. And we can S. Okay, nothing else we need to modify. Okay, for this one, we copy the JavaScript code and paste in the attacker's profile. So, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, go to Sammy's profile and paste here. You will turn to Visual Editor, they disappeared. Invisible. Okay, now let's save it. Okay, you may uh, add an uh, indicator as we did in the link method. Otherwise, now you just see it uh, quietly. We didn't see anything. No, it uh, worked or not. We need to verify as a victim. I log out and log in as Sammy. Oh, sorry, log in as Alice, the victim, the first victim. Before we start the doc method, 
clean uh, those in infection. Health profile, I see nothing here. Now, if she uh, accessed Sammy's profile, Sammy here, now you see nothing. Now, you switch back to Alice's profile. And you see is my hero, she is attacked. Right now, let's log out and log in as a Charlie to see whether Charlie will be attacked by the infected worm in Alice's profile. We log out and log in as Charlie. Now Charlie uh, access Alice's uh, profile. Okay, Alice. Switch to uh, Charlie's profile. Here, Charlie is also attacker, and you can see the injected code. Okay, the injected code right here. From this part. Okay, that's uh, task task six. It's up to you to clean everything or leave it uh, over there. We will not use this one. So we lock out. Go to the lab venue. 3.8, this error is common measure. This section, subsection is only for information. There is no specific task to do. So you can read it by yourself. It says that is a custom build security plugin, HTM load, as we discussed during the lecture, but it's disabled. How do you enable it? Follow the, the description and enable it by yourself. How do you install that uh, plugin? You need to log in as an administrator, the admin. So log in as admin. In the admins menu, you can see there are there is an item called administration, administrate the social website. Right here, you can see all the settings, administer, configure information, all that and so on. And uh, set settings. Online users, you can modify these users. Content statistics. Here are the plugins, right? set settings, security plugin settings, and so on. So if you want to uh, learn more about Elk Security website, go to its official website to learn its user manual and configuration manual. For those plugins, this is a dashboard. Right? What is inside the dashboard? This is the plugins. You can see lots of plugins called filter. For that one, it should be inside the security and the spam. Now all plugins are shown up here. We check the security and the spam. There is only one user validation by email. We didn't see the HTM load here. As it described in the manual, is disabled. You need to go there and uncomment this line. So what it is, it's inside the window, error, maybe engine and lab, in that uh, import.php. So how could you go, go there? You need to uh, log in to the shell. Create a shell, log in to the container. So we, we wanted to know the ID is here, copy this ID. Actually, we are already inside the command. We just uh, the CSP folder. We need to go up and go into that Elva folder here. It says in the lab. What's that one? Wonder.
CD out. What else? This is our window. Window. Alpha. Alpha. Engine. Lab. Uh, you see that import our PHP. But uh, we only have a nano editor here. So we can use the nano editor to edit this import our PHP. But I like a uh, VI. Import PHP. Let's, let's see whether we have a Vim. Vim not fun. We are not fun. So the editor are not installed. So with this nano, it's not convenient to edit these things. Import PHP. Why it's empty? Maybe I make a. I didn't go to that folder, so I need to uh, go into that folder first, then open it, and uh, find the function field toggles to um, command that line. And also, you may use this PHP's built in method, the HTML special charts, to encode the special calculus in user input. So this method is invoked in these files and the output folder. So it's up to you to check those things and to enable them and see whether you can attack again or not. Just take it as an extra task. Now task 7, defeating XSS attacks using CSP the content security of policy. You may uh, change the uh, content security policy in this uh, patch csp.conf here. A patch csp underscore csp.conf as we, we check those uh, document root of these websites. Right? Here you see uh, the first one Exam 32A, no CSP policy. This uh, exam 32B, the CSP policy policies are set in the Apache configuration here, just in this configuration file header set. But uh, this is a configuration file in the image, so if you modify here, you need to rebuild this image and bring the container up to make the uh, in effect. So you may choose to just modify inside the container. But uh, if you modify inside the container, after you, you put down the container, the modification will be gone. But that's enough. Right? And uh, if we, we use, you can also set up the CSP policy in using the cell script php index.php in the web application in the php source file and some other websites they are just used to host javascript files for example 60.com 70.com there are some script files as we see in the container in the container in, the, in that uh, CSP folder, you'll see the script area 4, 5, 6, and so on. Now let's uh, open the first one. They are all those uh, example website. The first two use this one as their uh, home page. The third Example set to see use this PHP index.php as its home page as we see it in the configuration file here, the patch and it's called right? Now let's open it. Just 
this one example set to C PHP index dot PHP. Now let's open uh, this the first one. Whenever you press here, you see uh, for search way, no CSP policies. Uh, you can see those JavaScript script that are uh, executed. And here, okay, you click this button, JavaScript also uh, executed. You can check the source code, real page source. Here in this uh, page source, we have seven items totally. At the beginning, they all show failed. And uh, when we load it, after the JavaScript is executed, those field, field, field will be changed to OK. Here we have uh, six JavaScript block correspond to item one to six. For item seven, the JavaScript is in line. For example, this one, the first uh, JavaScript block, this mouse, one, 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 one. Right? This is area one, ID, you check the ID. Area one, area two, three, four, five, six, here. Area one, two, three. Now, for the area four, five, six, there are script files. Area four is in the same website. On the same website, exam secretary area four and a uh, script area five, script area six. They are hosted on example 60 and example 70, right? They are hosted on different websites. Since no uh, CSP policy, everything was just script code uh, allowed to execute. Now we want to put for bit some uh, jobs JavaScript code to secure the website. Follow this uh, live menu. page for experiment you can see the explanation as we just uh, discussed sales policy sales policy uh, by web application is set in that uh, PHP file the PHP file you can find uh, inside the lab setup in the image w top down CSP, right? You can see uh, all the code here. Index.html. So we can open the code here. Open text edit. Right? You see, area 6 is just modify that uh, element with area, area 6. Modify the content to LK. This area file, this area four, they're all identical except that ID. Now you check the source code for this uh, index.html. We need to drag and drop. And the PHP or the drag and drop. Okay, for the index. It's identical to what we see. By right click, open the web page's uh, source code. Right? It's exactly the source code we see here. But the server script, we are not able to see it. It includes this index.html. This policy is set this uh, block, PHP code block, CSP header. You set the content security policy. Default source self same website and announce and uh, examples seventy. So now for here, read this uh, carefully and complete one to file.
describe and explain your observation when you visit this website. For website search way, all fields show OK. Website search all fields show OK and uh, that click me also worked. Now for uh, click this button, it worked. So for exam set A, only one and two. Right? For exam set B, you have one more as this one. Set C, you have one more as this one. And explain why CSP can help prevent cross site scripting tasks. You can find the explanation in our slides. For further explanation, go to our lab uh, webpage. Scroll down. You can find lots of uh, online resource content security policy with examples, reference uh, guide, and so on. For example, this one. Content security policy reference. Browser support. So some browser may not support MCFC directive references for different uh, web server and uh, server script. You may use different methods to set them set them up, but the syntax for the policy they are identical. We want to see for a patch. You may set in the the patch configuration website configuration file or you may set up in if you use a PHP you can set up at that as that PHP or index we want to see it right? what's the name PHP index dot PHP you may set up like this so for modularity maybe it's better or set in the web server configuration file so you don't need to mix your policy together with your source code except you want to refine refine a control on the policy for example different uh, uh, web page you use a different policy so you need you can put the policy together with the source code if you have unique policy across your whole website is better set in your website configuration file. Right now for C to B, open this uh, link in your tab. So this is what you observed. You need to take screenshot and put in your report. One, two, three, five failed. Only four and six. Okay. Seven click does not work. So this is what you observed. Now why? Check the policy, right? For that uh set to be is a CSP configuration. It's set up in this uh, configuration file in the image www here the pages underscore csp dot com the set we here the allowed JavaScript source is only from same website or example thirty right here from self itself worked and from 70 worked. Anything not specified here, they are all disabled. So only two are allowed. So we see only two allowed. Now, this uh, lab asks you to uh, change the server configuration so that area of file and six display OK. Area of file and six. Oops, not this one. 
this is uh, A, this B here, file and uh, 6 is already broken. Area file and uh, 6 display ok, so to be I think it's a typo here. Right? We already know 6 is already ok in this uh, example set to be. Example set to be 6 is already ok. File field. No, I ask you to change them all to OK. How do we do that? As we just uh, discussed in the lab menu, don't modify here. Otherwise, you need to rebuild the image. So we can go inside the container. Go inside the container to modify that uh, Patch configuration file and swap to see what is that file is the location is discussed here. So that's available the patch service.conf. After your modification, restart your patch service. So for those strings for head uh, host your own as a website. You may know how to modify this. etc patch to sets enabled or available does not matter. But you will see that uh, patch csp.conf. So we have only a line of here. etc patch to sets enabled csp.conf ok so go down here we need to uh, set up the policy here I ask you to um, add all those uh, to make all those field show ok how could we do that Press enter make the uh, stylish how do we put the nouns if you want to put a nouns uh, we need to uh, check how to uh, sell that one you, you see a nouns something like this huh? So we can put a nouns uh, here. Okay, let's use a single line for here. Now, what the nouns we need to put? Say to be three. There is no nouns. See the source code. Area one. This nouns is this one. Right. Paste here. The second one is to the door. This is line continuation. Let's put it here. Line uh, areas area three no nouns. Area three is uh, modified by this one. There's no nouns.
and it failed. The inline script does not work, right? It's the inline script. If you want to make the work, you need to add a nonce here. You need to modify the source code. To add a nonce here and put that nonce in your configuration file. Now you are also asked to uh, enable file. Well, is example 60. So we can put something similar like this one. Start at example 60.com. Don't forget the le uh, line continuation symbol. Okay, but this way we didn't enable uh, item 3 and didn't enable item 7. As we just discussed how to enable item 3, you need to add a nonce in the source code. And uh, 7, how do you enable it? For this uh, 7, you see uh, the JavaScript is in s encoded in this element. So you need to take it out put in a script and that script you, you assign a nonce create a function then you call this function here you will be able to uh, run it so I'd like uh, we modify this this way is not convenient so let's modify outside of the container uh, here let's save this one and have a look Ctrl O to write out. Right? Ctrl O write out to set a file. Yes, press enter. And uh, Ctrl X to exit. And also, we need to restart the patch service. Service patch to restart. Certainly, you can use a system control. Oops, we don't have system control. Service patch to restart. Right, just like this. Service Apache to restart. Restarting. Now it's done. Now you can refresh this uh, example set to be refreshed. You see this one turned OK, this one turned OK. But the one one two two is still failed. So that failed. Uh, one mistake I made. In that configuration file, when you put a nonce, what's the syntax when we put a nonce? Nonce, if you have a nonce uh, like this, so you need to put a nonce dash followed by that uh, nonce value. I didn't put that nonce dash, right? That's why it. Uh, didn't work for the first two nonce controlled transcript. So you can modify inside here by yourself, but now I would like to try to copy them out and uh, modify it. So we wanted to see those files are actually the patches. CSP.conf is here, and the index file is here. We already opened them uh, in our text editor. If you didn't, you open it here. But this one, a patch saves the have all the website. We only need a cell to be. Here's the index. I show you if you want to uh, 
control this code atom server here if you want to control this one can uh, control x try create a function my alert and you create a script We define a function here. We define a function here and a quid here in this uh, item. Adam seven here my alert. Now you can put a nouns here to control it. Nouns equals seven seven seven. You can put any uh, random string up to you. Just make it readable. Area two, 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 eh? Area three, as we just discussed, if you want to uh, make the controllable, you need to add a nose here. Oh, we need a top code. Very right, save it. Now, for that uh, configuration file in the container, in this uh, container bash underscore csp.conf you want this is contents right? it contains only contain one part not this uh, the bash csp.conf and the lab setup so we only need this part gonna see Okay, you may uh, add those uh, those nouns here. We copy and paste into this uh, container. You we can copy and paste here. Okay, see, they're all here, so not as a way just discussed separately. For those two nouns, right, I need to uh, add a noun stash for the by the nouns uh, value. So you may modify it here. What's the mouse work?
example uh, 60 dot com anyone else i need to add here nouns 777 seven, seven, seven. as we discussed if you want to uh, control area 3 you need to add a nouns by yourself so we will not do that I want to add a seven 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 seven. Don't forget the blank linearization symbol. Control S, save it. Okay, now we need to copy these two files: the index.html and this Apache underscore into the container so let inside the container quit this one Ctrl F quit that one you know copy from the left side up menu right? is a doc, co uh, doc copy then go inside the image double top there Docker copy this uh, patch csp dot com. Now, where is the location? That uh, a patch csp dot com is location is under here. It's uh, its location. However, this is uh, enabled is a linker to that available for this etc. Apache to set available. So this is a location. But we need to copy this uh, ID first. Inside here, paste here, then copy that uh, okay. We copy our modified appearance.conf to this to overwrite this one inside the container. Okay, it's uh, overwritten. We can double check. Just a uh, cat that it is by two sets enabled. As we discussed, this enabled the files here are linked to the files available in the available folder. We check that uh, example. Uh, set it to be right? here then or here since we modified this configuration file we need to uh, restart the patch to service okay so restarted successfully now we check our set to be refresh is it okay 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 click me Grammy didn't work, so which means maybe I made some mistake. My lot. I didn't uh, copy this index yet. I, I modified that uh, index.htm, but I didn't copy the container. So we only see this okay. Now I want to copy this index.html to the container. We already know that index oops, that index.html is here. So let's uh, copy ls. We need to cd csp. To copy this index.html and our lab setup folder. 
stock uh, copy index.html into the container and overwrite the index.html over there. Okay, it's overwritten. Now we can need, we need refresh again. Click me. Still didn't work. Let's double check inside the container. Have a look. Inside the container, I use cat index.html. So we see this is my function. My function my alert. So maybe I made some mistake in this JavaScript code. Anyone notice the mistake where I made? Then we check this A, click me, change code executed. Refresh. So, which means uh, there's no problem for this part. However, if we uh, Pronounce here, it looks like it does not control this part, this item 7. This one still are disabled, even though we have one enabled here with a nose. So it does, does not work as expected, so you, you need to uh, read this uh, policy carefully. Okay, that's uh, example C to B. Now for example C C to C. C to C is uh, rendered. Uh, its policy is uh, controlled in the source code. That is C to C. Failed, failed, failed. Click me. It does not work. Now for C to C, if you want to, uh, we know three is uncontrollable. Now for two and fail to make these two becomes okay. Where do you modify? We modify in the PHP file. What is PHP index or PHP? Modified here. Now pay attention, it uses uh, string concatenation to concatenate them together. Here for that uh, we want to enable uh, two and a file. Two we wanted to know it's uh, it's nouns two 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 two. So maybe it's a good idea to put in a second line. Put in a new line here. We also need this this uh, example uh, sixty. So here we pay attention. Actually, uh, I made a mistake here. Uh, 
from here top quote top quote here so we can put it uh, put it here single quote called the uh, nouns example 60 program gonna save it now we need to uh, copy this one into the container or maybe you can copy it from here and paste it into the container if you use a nano to edit that PHP index.php inside the container we already know inside the container is under here php index.php so let's uh, copy this uh, php index.php to this folder copy and paste here the, the folder inside the container so you may double check inside your container to see the other modification right you see the modification here so right now example so to see you refresh it you see uh, the 60 becomes okay the tool tool is still failed here now it's tool 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 so why is that and also this example30.com failed before that it's okay right the reason is here I didn't add uh, m space here so when they concatenate together it will become store.example30 70.com then concatenate to this part. So you need an empty space here. So we add an empty space and copy it again. Pay attention from your lab setup folder. Okay, it's copied over there. You may top check yourself. I just refresh it. You see, oh, okay. This one we know is, uh, it does not work, and this one uncontrollable. You may uh, change it, uh, add a nonce to make it uh, controllable. And this one, in line, I didn't find a way how to control it. So if you find a way to control, this is not in line, this is in element. The in element JavaScript, how to control it with the CSP, please let me know. Okay, I think we are complete uh, all the tasks. One, two, four, five, six. Right? And I only ask you, you know, one, two, four, five, six. Because uh, three, is, uh, you need to add a nonce. Seven, I didn't find a way to control it. So if you find a way, this is in element to draw script code. 